and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in. Underground, we're in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, thanks to Game and Brad Miller. This is our new home in Canada territory. I'm loving it, and I hope you are too. Ladies and gentlemen, here we get to see the Renegades take on Money Eat. And there they are. Clark and Draven. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 561 pounds, Clark and Draven. Things look like they're ready to go and heat it up. Music. It's, it's the Inglorious Bastards. Five hundred forty-five pounds. Sinister and the Enforcer, Damien Gage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Inglorious Bastards. They are here. Uh, they must have heard the word of the Renegades. Have been watching, and they decided that they were going to fight them. Sinister from fire, Damien Gage. This is his, he's got a match later tonight, actually. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they just, they're going right after him. Damien just doing whatever he wants with Clark, it seems. Oh, and just planting him right there on the mat. Oh, he just fought. Oh, he fucked his brother twice. Oh, Sinister had enough of it.
Damien is just going. Oh, man, right there on the concrete. That is not much padding, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Sinister now being tagged in. He's going after this form of his friend. He's actually friends with Colton Christ Clark. Uh, I just, I don't understand what's got to be going through these guys' minds. Oh, he's got him up. Oh, and another big slam. Sinister and Damien just keeping, oh, Clark now fighting back. He's throwing Sinister into their enemy territory. Oh, Sinister able to reverse. Oh, he's sending Clark back over into the corner with his brother. His brother's tagged in. Oh, man, they're just going after Clark. Clark now trying to get back. Oh, he's throwing him back over the corner. Is he going to be able to get the tag this time? No, not allowed. Damien Gage. Oh, Clark there with another reversal. He should use this moment to tag, will he? No, he goes right. Oh, and Sinister from behind. Damien and Sinister have been... Oh, going for a roll-up. Oh, and not able to pull it off. Clark now finally back up, but Draven has been knocked out of the ring. Oh. Oh, here they go. First DDT. And the Inglourious Bastards pull out the victory. They just annihilated the Renegades. They kept Clark separated. Destroyed him from the get. And just incredible. Didn't even let Draven get a moment in the ring. What an amazing work by the Inglourious Bastards. Could this be what is going to happen to the Alphas? Devil's Playground. The Inglorious Bastards making themselves known. Sinister and the Enforcer, Damien Gage. Wow, what a beatdown from the Inglorious Bastards to the Renegades. But here, the next match tonight, Mike Braxton is set to go one-on-one -on -one with a man that's been a heel, or sorry, a, a thorn in his heel. You know, something he stepped on as you're walking through, as he put it to, oh, Dooley, I guess, walking out right behind. Braxton, the FMW Canadian champion. Oh, Zuli picking up the belt. Oh, and he's clobbering Braxton with it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could show you the footage of what just took place. The game has strict rules here uh, on YouTube of what we can show. And all I can tell you is that Mike Braxton has been, he walked away on his own, uh, but he is being right seek to, uh, if he will allow it, by medical staff. And I'll we'll update for you later tonight uh, or on social medias after. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the scheduled match for Damian Gage. Damien goes one on one with an extrema superstar. Great. It's going to be an exciting match, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm sorry for what we just witnessed. I wish uh, we could show you some of the stuff that the game does not allow us. Uh, the glorious bastard earlier today, though, not scheduled to compete, but they went ahead and did it anyway. And they went again. 
Renegade and absolutely just enjoyed Bart kept him separated. It was a good tag team match besides uh, attacking him and on the outside of the ring and just the absolute destruction the employees got to bring with him. Uh, I gotta wonder what they were thinking about booking with the extreme superstar here tonight against uh, Damien, but nonetheless, uh, you know, we have to do what we're told and here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, from Extrema, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 165 pounds, Raiden. From Extrema, our shows on Tuesday nights, following fire, you get action from our luchadors and other superstars on Extrema in Mexico, City, Mexico most of the time. It travels around, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's we'll see what Raiden can do against Damien Gage, who is the AOH Undisputed Champion. Former MIW Undisputed Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, set. oh, and he just took out Raiden right off the bat. Raiden is down, and he is being stomped on like a dog. Raiden pulled straight back up and slammed right back down by Damian Gage. Oh, Raiden caught the foot there, and he spun it out on him. Oh, Raiden now. Oh, using his agility, trying to stay on top of Damien Gage. Oh, and what a move. Oh, he looks like he hurt his leg, though. Oh, and moved out. Damien now back on top in a clothesline. Oh, and an elbow drop to Raiden. Raiden now in a bad way getting stomped out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not looking good for Raiden at all. Oh, and a stomp to the side of the head. Oh, Raiden, finally. Oh, and he went for a drop kick. Oh, and a hurricane rata. Looks like Damien's rolling to the... Raiden must not have realized. Oh, into the ropes. Oh, Damien in. Oh, Raiden with the Hurricane Rider from behind. That was absolutely, or is that called Arena? I'm not for sure. Rope break, though, not able to get a good pin. Oh, he went for a kick. Nobody home. Now Damien right back at Raiden. Unbelievable. You know, Raiden gave it everything he had there. Oh, my God, looking for that stop. Only a one count mighty little Raiden. Oh, and the purge DDT. One, two, three. It was all over for Raiden before it even got started. Raiden got some good moves in against Damian Gage, but it wasn't enough. Kicking out at a one, almost a two, just barely a one to that stomp was an absolute feat, but nobody lately has been able to walk away from this move. That purge DDT, that is unbelievable. And you can just see it. He is out laying beneath Damien Gage there. Here Damien has winner, to be happy with himself tonight. Damien Gage.
What a crazy night we've had for you so far here. FW Underground in Montreal, Canada. But here we are, fourth match of the night. Making her Cindy way to Bad the finally gets to go one on one Iowa. with Sophie Cindy Radar. Bad. Sorry, I just totally cut off my announcer there. Sydney Bad. Uh, as I was saying, Sydney Bad gets to finally go one on one with Sophie Radar. Now, this is something that Sydney has wanted for a long time now. Sydney beat Sophie and become the number one contender and go on to fight Conga for the Yay Women's Championship. Yeah, that's right. You just heard it. That is the announcement. The FMW Women's title has been sold to the game. It is now the game. From Houston, Texas, the show, Sophia. It's now the game, Women's Championship. Some call me a for the things I've done. Tension boiling between these two. You know, this has been the longest we've ever had to wait for pay per view. And boy, has tension been rising. Oh, like I was saying, tensions are rising. Sydney Bad into the ring behind Sophie. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sydney Bad starts this one off, returning the favor of Sophie attacking her a couple weeks prior. Now you know Sydney is looking to absolutely destroy Sophie here tonight. Oh, and Sophie with that clothesline, and she's going for an easy win. But no, Sydney Bad able to kick out at one. Now Sophie has control. Leading Sydney into the ropes. Oh man, she's gonna fling her backwards. Oh, and stretching out the ligaments in that arm. Just trying to pull that arm out of its socket. Sophie has been as devastating as ever. Oh, and Cindy able to Reverse there. She has Sophie up and drops her straight on her back. Oh, so Sydney caught Sophie before she was able to punch her in the face. Oh, and Sophie kicked out before even a one. Way to go. Sophie seems to be on top of it. Oh, and back right onto her head. Sydney not giving up on the attack. Oh, and a drop kick into the corner. Left Sophie a little hurt. She fell forward, kind of gasping for her. another drop kick in the corner. Oh, and a smack to the face. Sydney Bad now taunting Sophie in a bad way. Two drop kicks. I I gotta wonder if they injured her in some sort of way. Oh, and Sydney has Sophie up after an elbow, and Sophie able to reverse into her reverse DDT. Oh, and again going after the arm of Sydney. Cindy now just on the ground. Oh, and a leg drop by Sophie. Oh, and Cindy able to reverse. Oh no, what's she going for here? She has Sophie up. Oh, and that fall away bomb, man. That is a crazy move used by a lot of competitors here to finish. Two, I think made famous by the bads. Oh, and into the corner. Oh, and a drop kick again. She's just targeting that hurt body of Sophie. Oh, and Sophie with the reversal. Oh, and a DDT. Then he bad letting Sophie back into the ring. Oh, she's going under that rope. Oh, man. She has just been attacking the body that she's already injured. Oh, what's this? Oh, Cindy going for a roll up. Sophie looks trapped. One. Kick out. Wow, way to go, Cindy. Oh, she went for another drop kick. Trying to target that injured body. Into the 
the corner now. Oh, and choking Sophie in the corner. You know, I gotta say that the only reason Sydney even has the advantage right now is because she attacked Sophie. Oh, right off the bat. I mean, I could be wrong, but she didn't really give us any other way to believe it. Oh, she's got Sophie up again for that fall away bomb. Oh, and a kick out at two. Sophie going to that, or Sydney going to that top rope. Oh, and she went for a drop kick. Oh, she missed the drop kick. Sophie gonna make her pay for that one. Oh, and there it is. Spine buster, just like her daddy. In a kick out. Unbelievable. Sophie wasn't able to give her full end to that spine buster. She looked very injured and very hurt. Oh, and another one! Gotta wonder if Sophie's got some cracked ribs or something. She's not giving all into those spine busters, but she's trying to put away Sydney quick here. One, two, and a kick out in two. Sophie now in a bad way, just pissed off, looks angry. She's, she's hoping to come back. She's getting the crowd to rile her up. And she's going back for a submission hold. Oh, but that, Cindy able to get out of it. Cindy back to her feet. She grabs Sophie into a suplex. Oh, Sydney getting riled up. Oh, she drops the legs. She's going for it again. Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Sydney Bad, your number one contender. What an amazing match by both participants tonight. Cindy Bad able to pull out an unbelievable victory against Sophie Radog. To go one on one with Tonga at Devil's Playground for the game. Women's Championship. Congrats to Cindy Bad. What an amazing Here is your winner, victory. Cindy Bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event of tonight after that crazy card we had. We get to see Triple C take on Venom. These guys have been a rivalry since the beginning of FMW. They're actually part of a team of brotherhood now, but they always put on a fairly fight whenever it's at. Oh, Blade! Blade attacking! Oh, from behind! Blade with a steel chair! 
to Triple C. Triple C being pulled down the ramp and thrown. Oh, and he dropped a leg. Triple C in a bad way, folks. Blade is upset. If you don't know it, I will fill you in. Triple C has a... Either it's a different person or it's another personality. Either way, he has another part of him that is Clark. The masked version. And Clark attacked Blade after Triple C cut a promo a couple weeks ago.